Hello YouTube, um, another little project I was working on here in the garage and I just finished it up tonight. I wanted to give you a quick um, shot of what I did and uh, I haven't seen too many projects like this on YouTube so I thought I'd, thought I'd share mine so you show you how it turned out. So as you've seen before I've got the uh, 59 inch uh, front blower that goes on my 3520 over here. Uh, hasn't snowed for a few weeks or a couple weeks, so snow blowers off it. But anyway, <clears throat> as you know, you usually have to uh, manually ch move the chute up and down. So I had this little hydraulic off the front, um, off my 2520. It was the angle kit for the 2520. And when I turned it in, I kept the hydraulic off it. So I decided <clears throat> it's time to put it to use. So I made uh, some brackets here and I am not a professional welder but you can kind of see the way that uh, that came off and I put a backing plate Let's see if I can show backing plate up in there another one down on the bottom I'm hopeful that it doesn't get in the way and catch snow in there and cause any trouble but hopefully that's all right so anyway just simply mounted it down here up on top with that lever um, and it, geez, it works pretty well. I'm going to run it off my third, the third valve. Right now I've just got to plug straight in. Um, but of course, on the tractor here I do have the third valve kit to the front. So you can see the lines there. And uh, there's another set right there um, for the third valve that brings a set of lines uh, from the back to the front here. So when the snow blower's on, I can just plug that cylinder right into those those lines there, and it should work pretty well. <clears throat> so I'll just show you. I was a little worried about speed, if it was going to be too fast or not, but uh, I think it's worked out all right. It's, it's not, not too quick. Let's see if I can start this here. So we just need to uh, hit this button. We run the third valve from this right here. As you can see. It's an idle. We run it all the way up. Lower our snow blow right there. So that's it. Makes good use of the uh, third valve, and I think it came out all right. I know a lot of people put them on the sides, and they'd run it from here up to here on the side. But this is kind of a thick. If you're familiar with the 2520 or the 2000 uh, one in one series lift cylinders, it's kind of a thick, thick cylinder. So I didn't want that great big thing sticking off the side. I don't know if it's any better sticking off the back, I guess, but gave me an excuse to build that lever. <laughs> and uh, it was a little, little more work to make sure that the lever worked and that it didn't run into the chute and that the, it didn't over uh, overextend the chute with the cylinder when it extends all the way or break it when it pulls it back or anything like that. So anyway, uh, <clears throat> this is obviously not how it's going to look when it's running. Um, but just something so I could get some hydraulics off the tractor to try it out. So, anyway, that's what I did. Uh, any questions or comments? Feel free to comment below. And uh, thanks a lot for watching.